and welcome to a discussion on how to record balance sheet transactions. We will discuss transactions that only change the balance sheet. It will be much easier for you to record journal entries if you learn to record transactions on a spreadsheet first before you make journal entries. After viewing this video, you will be able to identify the account names that change when a specific transaction occurs, determine if the account name that changes is an asset, liability, or an owner's equity account, and record a transaction on a spreadsheet and keep the accounting equation in balance. A transaction is an exchange of something for something else. Each transaction requires that something is given up and something else is received. We will discuss the transactions that only change the balance sheet. The first is that one asset is exchanged for another. The second is that an asset is received and paid for later. This results in a liability. The third transaction is that an asset is used to pay what is owed. A spreadsheet with columns for each account name is used. Amounts will be written below the account name in the columns. Total each column and the totals will be reported on the financial statements. Let's now go through a few examples of recording balance sheet transactions. The first step is to set up the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. The next step is to set up the columns to write the account names that change with each transaction. The account names are generally taken from the prior period balance sheet. The first transaction is the issuance of stock to investors. First identify what is exchanged. Cash is received and common stock is given in exchange. Cash is an asset and common stock is an owner's equity. Both sides increase 100000 The amounts are put in the appropriate columns and the accounting equation stays in balance. The company then purchases inventory on account. The two accounts that change are inventory and accounts payable. An asset is received and will be paid for later. The accounting equation stays in balance. The amounts are written in the column of the account name. The last transaction is an exchange of one asset for another asset. The net of zero on the asset side is equal to no change on the right side. Total each column after recording all transactions. The account names used and the total amounts are reported on the balance sheet. Let's talk through another example. Set up the columns in a row for each transaction. As you read each transaction, determine what is being ex exchanged. Each transaction consists of something that is received and something that is given up. In the first transaction, the company receives cash in exchange for giving up ownership. Cash is received and common stock is issued. The company then signs a note at the bank and borrows 8000 that must be repaid in six months. The company receives cash and incurs a liability called short-term notes payable. The amounts are written in these columns. Office supplies are then purchased on account. The amount goes in the office supplies column and the accounts payable column. Owing suppliers on account is recorded to accounts payable. The company then purchases product to be sold to customers. Products that will be sold to customers is inventory. Inventory increases, and so does accounts payable because the inventory was not paid for. Office furniture is received and cash is paid. The amounts are recorded in the cash column and the office furniture column. Increases are recorded with a positive and decreases are recorded with a negative. Automobiles are purchased for 100 and the company agrees to pay the amount equally over five years. The first year amount, or one-fifth, is recorded as the short-term notes payable, and the other years paid after one year are recorded to long-term notes payable. A customer paid the company ahead of delivery and cash is increased. The goods will be provided in three months and therefore the company owes the customer and a liability called unearned revenue is incurred. Rent is paid before the service is provided. This is an increase to a prepaid expense and a decrease to cash. No 
Notice that with each transaction, the amount goes in the column of the account that changes and the accounting equation must stay in balance. Here is the spreadsheet that summarizes all of the previous transactions. The columns are totaled. And the account names and the total amounts are reported on the balance sheet in proper format. Only the account names and the total amount from the spreadsheet are reported on the balance sheet. After viewing this video, you should be able to identify the account names that change when a specific transaction occurs, determine if the account name that changes is an asset, liability, or an owner's equity account, and record the transaction on a spreadsheet, keeping the accounting equation in balance. Please log on to studymyaccounting.com. The practices you learn will give you examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Please write out the answers and check your answers to the answers provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.